what is happening guys uh, thank you for tuning in uh, semi took the week off last week to do the family thing still had a couple videos but we'll start cranking them up again here uh, starting off yeah if you guys uh, like the videos please share and uh, subscribe to the channel that helps us out we've seen a little bit of uptick in that so I thank you very much uh, and the comments I've mentioned it many many times uh, like the comments and today's video kind of comes from one of our uh, one of our guys that comments on our videos pretty regular uh, I'm not gonna throw out names for this but anyway uh, he'll he'll know who he is <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, he had mentioned that he had spoken with the guy in the past about prepping and this guy had all the gadgets dude he was loaded out he had the uh, body armor and the thermal and the night vision and I mean the whole nine okay big time spent some bucks on this and our contributor here of the channel asked him it's like what about food and medical and all that and the guy flat out told him that he's just going to go take other people's stuff and this guy if I'm understanding it right was in a group so while we're trying to do our thing getting ready uh, getting things in place getting our preps in place for uh, for our family and friends there are people out there that are planning right now to come take our stuff and that's what today's video is all about uh, there are prepper groups out there right now that their plan is to come take other people's stuff so pretty much they are planning on being the marauders raiders the bad guys right bad guys uh, and they're planning on this so do you have the ability to defeat thermal do you have the ability to do all that stuff if people are out there buying all this equipment uh, they are probably getting some skills as well I talk about skills all the time remember everything is either going to run out or break at some point in time you got to have the skills to go with the stuff so following that same mentality if their plan is to come take our stuff they are probably working on the skills to be able to do that okay they are probably studying up on their reconnaissance um, and they are probably trying to get in touch with prepper groups out there so if you are in a group uh, use a little bit of caution your OPSEC right like I told you even in our group we don't know where each other live right now that takes a long time to build that trust up okay um, so do not voluntarily throw all that information out uh, on top of location do not voluntarily throw out yeah I got hundred thousand rounds of five five six and ten years worth of food over you know no 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 let's not do that because you don't know these people intentions I don't know if you're talking to them on Facebook or any of the other social medias I, I don't get into the Facebook I don't know how it all works but I know there are prepper forums out there and things like that so watch your OPSEC number one there's very likely people out there looking to I, hate to say this it sounds kind of you know conspiracy theory tin foil hat wearing but anyway it's not unreasonable to believe that there are people out there that are 
trying to get into these prepper groups and pick up information on them so that when something happens they can call their boys up and say all right come on their stuff's ready okay so be conscious of that uh, also on that as far as uh, the thermal study up on how to defeat thermal I do not have any thermal okay so I have not tried these things out but I have heard that thermal cannot see through glass that makes sense to me because it's picking up heat signatures and you can't pick up heat signatures through a glass is that true I'm not sure study it for yourself find out um, I've read about guys um, taking uh, like ponchos and the whoobies that go in them you know the poncho liners and then lining that with the uh, emergency space blankets to wrap up and to try to hide the thermal signature uh, that would suck in August <laughs> that would suck in August um, and in my mind and this is just my mind eventually that whole thing's going to heat up I mean I would think I don't know if you've done it if you've tried it and you've tested it on thermal please comment below let us know um, so with that in mind uh, your uh, OPLPs, your observation posts, listening posts, things like that. Um, might be good to try to figure out a way to try to put a pane of glass in it. Now it's going to be hard to shoot through that, of course. And if you have thermal yourself, uh, that's going to kind of hinder that. But if the glass does work, then that might help you. Now at the same time, on your OPLPs, if it's winter time and you've got a little Coleman heater fired up in there, that whole thing is going to warm up eventually, or at least the openings are going to show warmth, right? Uh, so while watching, now we have to worry about, which we always have, but now we're just touching on it for the first time. In addition to watching our light discipline, uh, our noise discipline, our smell discipline. Now we got to worry about our thermal discipline, and that that one's going to be tough. Um, if any of you have established this in your groups or your bug out locations, if you thought about defeating thermal uh, and you've got ideas, yeah, throw them down in the comments below. That'll help out some people. But uh, anyway the main gist of today's video are those other groups out there that are already planning to take your stuff I am hoping that if these guys are looking to take people's things they are going to be getting in firefights um, I could be wrong but I guarantee a lot of these boys have watched one too many action movies remember those bullets go both ways right and like I've told you guys before, I pray none of you ever have to squeeze a trigger to defend yourself. Um, that's why I'm not real big on tons of ammo uh, on your person. If you guys have watched the uh, Get, Get Home Bag series, I believe the most ammo I recommended was like 500 rounds of rifle and I guarantee there were tons of people going, well that's not enough. If you've shot 500 rounds of ammo and you're still going, uh, somebody's looking out for you. Because <laughs> if you shot that much ammo, you have been shot at and the chances of you not taking one, that's, you got to play the lottery man. Um, anyway, so I'm kind of hopeful if these guys are seriously doing this, that they're going to learn real quick that those bullets go both ways and they're going to have to rethink their strategy. Um, also, yeah, they're talking a good game right now, um, but until... 
Well, all of us, right? All of us are Rambo, right? All of us are the uh, action movie stars. We're going to storm the fortress or the camp, and we're going to take out a hundred hostiles, and we're not going to have a scratch on us, right? That's, well, no. Um, kind of thinking that's probably where their mindset is, too. Um, so hopefully we won't have to deal with that too much. But there's more that goes into it. Sitting in your easy chair with a cold beverage in your right hand and the TV remote in your left, um, it's real easy to say, oh yeah, I'll put those guys six feet under, no problem. Until you've been in a life or death situation where either you're forced to take someone's life or even saving somebody's life. Um, until you've been in that situation, you don't really know how you're going to react. It's real easy to sit there right now and say, oh yeah, I have no problem. No problem at all. Uh, until you've been in that situation, it's going to be tough. And that's why all of you need to have your minds right, right now. Uh, you don't want to have that moment of hesitation when you've got your family that you're trying to protect okay um, it's it's different okay I have been in a situation where I have saved somebody's life you know I say that let me back up somebody was choking okay I gave him the Heimlich maneuver it's not like I was patching somebody up okay so I don't I don't want this to I don't want you guys to think that I'm some field surgeon that stopped the bleeding and patched a guy up. No. But still, at the same time, uh, with that situation, I didn't really have the time to think about it too much, which was nice. Uh, my uh, only thought was I heard and saw what was going on. I stood up flipped the guy around and did what I had to do. Immediately afterwards, we were in a restaurant, my family and I. Immediately afterwards, I went back and sat down at the table and my arms and legs just started shaking, okay? Any of you guys that have uh, been in a situation similar, I've, I've heard other people tell me the same thing. Um, and that's when it hit me that if I hadn't been able to help that guy out, my kids would have watched him die or at least stop breathing, okay? Hopefully uh, EMS would have showed up in enough time where they could have, could have helped the guy. But that was the first thing that went through my mind. Uh, it wasn't about the guy, you know, and, and that's sad, and it, but I'm being honest here. My first, my first thought was, my kids are going to watch this guy die. If I hadn't done that, they would have watched him die. And and that kind of that kind of shook me up a little bit. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. I was ready to pop out the half a cow he had shoved down his throat. But as far as the aftermath of it, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, if you are a follower of this channel, you know that I am a ex-police officer. Uh, thankfully, I was never in a situation where I had to discharge my weapon. I was in situations where I had to draw my weapon, okay? And I had already got right in my head, I guess it's the only way to say it, got my mind right as far as if something has to happen, how it's got to happen, etc., etc. Um, it wasn't something I looked forward to. Uh, in fact, every day I went to work, you know, I prayed I wouldn't have to do that. Okay? There's a reason why all of our fighting men and women uh, come back from battle with uh, PTSD. Uh, it's not only seeing their buddies go through what they go through but it's also the actions that they've had to take to save themselves and their buddy's life 
Um, it's a real thing. Um, and that's something as we're sitting there in our easy chair with our cold beverage in one hand and remote in the other, um, we tend not to think about that because Rambo's never had any problems with that and Arnold and all the other action stars of my generation that went out and blew up a thousand people every movie, they never had any of that stuff to worry about. Um, but, uh, but it's real guys, so we kind of got off tangent, but that's okay. But just back to uh, the prepper groups out there that are already planning uh, on doing the marauding, the looting, the raiding. Uh, how are you going to combat, combat that? Uh, make sure you watch your OPSEC and your groups or who you talk to. Remember, you don't want to let them know where you're at, how much you got. Okay? Uh, keep that in mind and any uh, information on this yeah put it down in the comments below how, how are you going to deal with that things that you've already put in place to to stop that stuff so with that guys i get out of here and talk to you after a while